in this video we will learn how to create sql server login let's go for demo so in this video we will learn how to create sql server login and now we will go for demo so here it is a sql server management studio this is the instance and uh, this is the security tab expand the security tab under security tab you can see the logins and uh, right click on uh, login tab you can see new login click on new login so now we are going to create sql server authentication so choose sql server authentication and uh, give the login name give the password so if you want to check this box and force password expiration user must change password at next login you can check otherwise you can uncheck these and if you want to assign server roles like uh, bulk admin db creator disk admin server admin you can check these uh, anyone you want so okay and click okay now oh, sql server login is created refresh see the logins see there is the login arun now we are going to connect with arun login so choose here so this is the instance so under this sql1 instance we created arun login so we can choose the sql1 instance and under authentication you can choose a sql server authentication so the login name is arun and give the password connect so here you can see the error login failed for our user arun so this is the famous error login error 18546 18456 okay so now we are going to troubleshoot why we got this error. So let's go for uh, SQL Server Properties. So under Security tab, you can see this is SQL Server instance is allowing only Windows authentication mode. So we can click this. We can choose SQL Server and Windows authentication mode and click OK. So some of your configuration changes will not take effect until SQL Server is restarted, OK. So now we are going to restart the SQL services. See, here restart option is there. Now I'm restarting the server. Yes. Stopping the service will also stop the SQL Server agent. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Now it is going to stop the services. Now it is again starting the services. Yes, it is successfully restarted. So now you can see here. Now we are going to connect with Arun login. See choose the instance equal one choose the authentication sql server authentication and choose the username is arun and give the password click connect yes now see here 
we are connected with Arun. So Arun is a SQL Server login. See, I think you understood how to connect, how to create SQL Server login, and how can we connect with the SQL Server login. Thanks for watching video.